Hello friends, how are you all doing? Silvio here. Today I will make a useful video about how to smoke a pipe without a tamper and a pipe cleaner. This is useful, especially when you're smoking outside. Today I'm smoking my Diapede pipe, a vintage pipe. It's an old pipe making company that existed in Torino. It was the oldest pipe company in Torino, Italia. A nice lumberman, okay? Because the shank is longer than the height of the ball. Okay, if the height of the ball was equal to the length of the shank, it would have been a billiard. Okay, it has a green dot. I like the rim. I never seen this before. Great looking pipe. And inside I have a, a, a 40 years old my mixture 965 that I have from Philip. He gave me a sample and uh, I'm using it right now. So I will not be using a tamper or a pipe cleaner if it gurgles. Uh, I'm sure that it will not gurgle with so much wood in the shank because it will absorb the moisture, but I will fake it. What aging did to this tobacco? I never smoked this English blend before, but uh, what aging does, it takes the water out of the, the tobacco and the water takes with it the sugars, okay? the water evaporates and disappears and the sugars remain on the top of the tobacco so it's not adding more sugar okay if the tin had five grams of sugar when you put it aside for aging it will still have five grams of sugar after a hundred years okay so it's not making more sugar i've heard this stupid thing before so i want to be clear about this it's not making more sugar. It just brings the sugars up to the surface, okay? So when it burns, the sugar taste, it's more pronounced because it's not dispersed in liquids and uh, fibers. It burns uh, by itself, let's say. So, I like my English blends to be smoky and uh, not to uh, not very sweet. Uh, what I think it did to this tobacco, it made it from an all day tobacco to a more more of a dessert tobacco. So uh, for smoking much more rarely, you know. If you like that, fine. Uh, I prefer English blends as a normal all day smokes. It's not exactly my cup of tea, but I'm not saying that is bad at all. If you have it, it's nice, but for, to wait for 40 years for this to happen, I don't really see the point. It's not a big deal. It covers your whole mouth in a sugary thing. Again, I'm not saying that it's bad. It's that I prefer smoky and... Uh, you know what I'm talking about, English blends. Using my finger as a tamper. Not when I'm puffing, okay? You use it and then you puff. So, it's not a big deal. I, I never smoked this tobacco, so I don't know how the Latakia uh, is 
before aging. Aging. It's very low on Latakia, but probably it. Uh, this is normal. So I don't see a much difference between a normal English blend and this one. It's a little bit sweeter. Again, if you have it, fine, but to wait for 40 years for this to happen, I don't see the point. Again, I'm very grateful for this and uh, I'm very grateful for uh, the possibility to try this tobacco. That's why I won't recommend uh, aging English blends. Probably uh, Virginia blends, maybe there is something more there. But here not. I actually aged two things of uh, Samuel Gowett, two English blends, and that were that were actually uh, were bad because I know the way it tastes before aging. So I aged those things for seven years. I wish I haven't. They are much better fresh. It had a lot of hot air where Latakia is supposed to be. It has. It had even less Latakia taste than this one. Again, it's not bad. It's actually very nice. Okay, so when you don't have a temper, how do you dump your ashes? This is how. You hit your pipe. Like this, from the side, okay? And then you hit it easily like this, as you normal do. So that is one, uh, the second tip. First one, use your finger as a temper. Second one, when you dump your ashes, hit the pipe from laterally, from a side. Like this, short and uh, strongly, okay? And then dump your ashes. Now let's say that it gurgles. I'm teaching this from the beginning of my channel, five, six months ago, but I'm using these tips for 15 years. I cover the, the ball, okay? And I flick the pipe, okay? Like this. Once or twice, it's actually enough. Now you have to arrange again your tobacco a little bit. In this kind of weather is where zippos shine. First tip, use your finger as a temper. Second tip, to dump your ashes, hit the bowl like this and then dump your ashes. Third one, if it gurgles, cover the, the bowl and flick the pipe like this. There will be, f uh, it, uh, I have another one, how to empty your pipe without a temper. So if you forget your temper and your uh, pipe cleaners, don't get hold back by that. It's nothing. 
learn how to do the things that you love in other positions than the comfortable ones you know i know you guys in the west have as many tempers and the pipe cleaners and tobaccos that you want but always think because you always say that we are a community think about other people that don't okay when making videos okay like uh, using your uh, nose oil or your forehead for the rim of the pipe a lot of people will find this useful we are we not everybody has those wipers with silicon made by rolls royce or you know so it doesn't mean that i'm doing this it means that i'm thinking about people who don't have all those things okay so i'm not only making these videos for people in the usa or western europe or for me okay so that's why people in other parts of the world will find this useful Yeah, there is not much difference between a normal English blend and a 40 years old one. It really isn't. Very temp, uh, little uh, Latakia taste and smokiness. But it is not gone as people say. It was gone in my Samuel Gawit blends. Okay, the last tip. Again, use your temper, your finger as a temper. Hit your pipe from a side and then dump your ashes, okay? Flick your pipe like this to stop it from gurgling. Now, how do we empty the pipe? We do it like this. You hit you uh, keep the pipe from here, so not from here, not to break the, the stem, like this, and you hit the palm of your head, and immediately... And that is it. I hope you find this useful, guys. Thank you. I send you all my love.